Hey friends, this is Mrs. Rich and I am excited to read you a story. Um, today, one of my favorite stories, the title is Stella Luna and the author is Janelle Cannon. So we can look at the cover of the book and we can uh, wonder about what we're going to be reading about today. We've got a bat and then I see three birds in the background. So maybe the story is going to be about a bat. Let's uh, turn the page to find out. So remember that good readers ask good, quest ask good questions. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. So as we read the story, we're going to be asking questions. There, here's some questions we could ask. What do you think our story will be about? Who will be characters in this story? When will this story take place? Where will this story take place? And why did the author write this story? In a warm and sultry forest, far, far away, there, li there once lived a mother fruit bat and her new baby. Oh, how mother bat loved her soft, tiny baby. I'll name you Stella Luna, she crooned. Each night, mother bat would carry Stella Luna clutched to her breast as she flew out to search for food. So I spy with my good eye. Right here, I see soft. I see tiny. Those are both adjectives that describe baby. And we talked about adjectives um, and baby would be a noun, right? A person, place, thing, or animal. Um, I see quotations. We talked about quotations, blah, blah, blah. Quotation, I'll name you Stella Luna, comma, quotation, she crooned. That's telling us that the mama bird is actually talking. One night, as Mother Bat followed the heavy scent of ripe fruit, an owl spied her. On silent wings, the powerful bird swooped down upon the bats. Dodging and shrieking, Mother Bat tried to escape. But the owl struck again and again, knocking Stella Luna into the air. Her baby wings were as limp and useless as wet paper. Down, down she went, faster and faster into the forest below. So I am going to ask some questions so I can better understand what I'm reading. Um, what happened on this page? It looks like an owl spied her. That means see. If you spy something, you see it. Um, the mama is dodging and shrieking. Dodging means moving back and forth, trying to get away. Shrieking means yelling really loud and in a scared. She's afraid. Um, but it looks like the owl struck her. That means hit her anyway, right? She couldn't get away. She was dodging, but she didn't get away and she got struck by the owl. Then Stella Luna is knocked into the air and her, she's a little baby. So her wings are limp and useless, limp as wet paper. And that kind of tells us what limp and uh, limp means and useless, right? Wet paper, if paper gets real wet, you can't write on it and it's all floppy and um, not firm anymore. Flump, Stella Luna landed head first in a soft down nest startling the three baby birds who lived there. Stella Luna quickly clambered from the nest and hung out of sight below it. She listened to the babble of the three birds. What was that? cried Flap. I don't know, but it's hanging by its feet, chirped Flitter. Shh, here comes Mama, hissed Pip. So what's going on on this page? It looks like I see the bat's feet and the bat's wings. So he fell from the thin branch, or she fell from the thin branch, and she's landed in. Um, a soft um, down nest, down is like feathers. And there's those three little birds. Many, many times that day, Mama Bird flew away, always returning with food for her babies. Stella Luna was terribly hungry, but not for crawly things Mama Bird brought. Finally, though, the little bat could bear it no longer. She climbed into the nest. She closed her eyes and opened her mouth, plop. In dropped a big green grasshopper. Oh my gosh. So you can see Stella Luna's face and she's got her eyes closed tight. Ugh. 
And the mama bird is dropping a grasshopper in because birds eat bugs. But what do you think fruit bats eat? Stella Luna is a fruit bat. I wonder what fruit bats eat. Stella Luna learned to be like the birds. She stayed awake all day and she slept at night. She ate bugs, even though they tasted awful. Her bat ways were quickly disappearing, except for one thing. Stella Luna still liked to sleep hanging by her feet. Once when mama was away, the curious baby birds decided to try it too. When mama bird came home, she saw eight tiny feet gripping the edge of the nest. Eek, she cried. Get back up here this instant. You're going to fall and break your necks. So the baby birds are trying to be like the bat, aren't they? They're trying to hang upside down. You can see them right here. And there's, of course, Stella Luna. And then they've got the three little bats hanging upside down. Okay. What kind of animal was Stella Luna? She was a bat, right? Not a bird. The birds clambered back into the nest, but Mama Bird stopped Stella Luna. You are teaching my children to do bad things. I will not let you back into this nest unless you promise to obey all the rules of this house. Stella Luna promised. She ate bugs without making faces. She slept in the nest at night and she didn't hang by her feet. Stella Luna behaved as a good bird should. So Stella Luna behaved like a good bird. Good is an adjective and bird is a noun. Oh, who remembers what kind of noun the, the Stella Luna is? Stella Luna is a name and the name of a, a person, place or thing or animal. So that would be a proper noun. Good, proper noun. All the baby birds grew quickly. Soon the nest became crowded. Mama Bird told them it was time to learn to fly. One by one, Pip, Flitter, Flap, and Stella Luna jumped from the nest. Their wings worked. I'm just like them, thought Stella Luna. I can fly too. I spy with my good eye an adverb. Who remembers what an adverb is? You're right. An adverb describes a verb. All the babies grew quickly. How did the babies grow? Quickly. And lots of times adverbs end in L Y. Very good. What did Stella Luna begin to think she was? A bird. Pip, flitter, and flap landed gracefully on a branch. Stella Luna tried to do the same. How? embarrassing oh my goodness so there she is she's trying to land and then she's hanging by her thumbs and oh goodness she's really having a hard time i will fly all day stella luna told herself then no one will see how clumsy i am the next day pip flitter flap and stella luna went flying far from home they flew for hours exercising their new wings the sun is setting, warned Flitter. We'd better go home or we will get lost in the dark, said Flap. But Stella Luna had flown far ahead and was nowhere to be seen. The three anxious birds went home without her. All alone, Stella Luna flew and flew until her wings ached and she dropped into a tree. I promise not to hang from my feet. Stella Luna sighed, so she hung by her thumbs, and soon she fell asleep. She didn't hear the soft sound of wings coming near. Oh, my goodness. There she is hanging by her thumbs. Hey, a loud voice said. Why are you hanging upside down? Stella Luna's eyes opened wide. She saw a most peculiar face. I'm not upside down. You are. Stella Luna said, ah, but you're a bat. Bats hang by their feet. You're hanging by your thumbs, so that makes you upside down, the creature said. I'm a bat. I am hanging by my feet. That makes me right side up. Stella Luna was confused. Mama Bird told me I was upside down. She said I was wrong. Wrong for a bird, maybe, but not for a bat. More bats gathered around to see the strange young bat who behaves like a bird. Stella Luna told them her story. You ate bugs, stuttered one. 
You slept at night, gasped another. How very strange, they all murmured. Wait, wait, let me look at this child. A bat pushed through the crowd. An owl attacked you, she asked. Sniffing Estella Luna's fur, she whispered, you are my baby. You are Stella Luna. You escaped the owl, cried Stella Luna. You survived? Yes, said Mother Bat as she wrapped her wings around Stella Luna. Come with me and I'll show you where to find the most delicious fruit. You'll never have to eat another bug as long as you live. Oh, so fruit bats eat fruit. But it's nighttime, Stella Luna squeaked. We can't fly in the dark or we will crash into trees. We're bats, said Mother Bat. We can see in darkness. Come with us, Stella Luna was afraid, but she let go of the tree and dropped into the deep blue sky. Stella Luna could see. She felt as though rays of light shone from her eyes. She was able to see everything in her path. Soon the bats found a mango tree and Stella Luna ate as much of the fruit as she could hold. I'll ne never eat another bug as long as I live, cheered Stella Luna as she stuffed herself full. I must tell Pip, Flitter, and Flap. The next day, Stella Luna went to visit the birds. Come with me and meet my bat family, said Stella Luna. Okay, let's go, agreed Pip. They hang by their feet and they fly at night and they eat the best food in the world, Stella Luna explained to the birds on the way. As the birds flew among the bats, Flap said, I feel upside down here. So the birds hung by their feet. Wait until dark, Stella Luna said excitedly. We will fly at night. When night came, Stella Luna flew away. Pip, Flitter, and Flap leapt from the tree to follow her. You can't see a thing, yelled Pip. Neither can I, howled Flitter. Aye, shrieked Flap. They're going to crash, gasped Stella Luna. I must rescue them. Stella Luna swooped about, grabbing her friends in the air. She lifted them to a tree, and the birds grasped a branch. Stella Luna hung from the limb above them. Oh, so she's saving them because they can't see in the dark. We are safe, said Stella Luna. Then she sighed. I wish you could see in the dark, too. We wish you could land on your feet, Flitter replied. Pip and Flap nodded. They perched in silence for a long time. How can we be so different and feel so much alike, mused Flitter. And how can we feel so much so different and be so much alike, wondered Pip. I think this is quite a mystery, Flap chirped. I agree, said Stella Luna, but we're friends and that's a fact. So I want you to think about the story that I just read. Think about what was the favorite part, uh, your favorite part of this story. And I want you to share in the comments below. And I want you also to think about how are birds and bats the same and how are they different? And tell me one way they're the same and one way that they're different in the comments below. So we, we talked about these questions uh, at the beginning of the story and now we're gonna talk about them again at the end and see if we can answer them. What do you think our story will be about? What was our story about? It was about a bat named Stella Luna, very good. Who will the characters be in this story? Well, Stella Luna, and then she had three bird friends, didn't she? There was also Mama Bird, and there was Mama Bat. When when did this story take place? Well, it the it took place at night for the bats, and then the birds, of course, they were they were in the daytime. Where did the story take place? The setting of the story it was in a forest. And why do you think the author wrote this story? Do you think she wrote it to persuade us, to try to talk us into something? No. Do you think that she wrote it to inform, of, inform us of something real, information? I don't think so, because this information was um, bats were talking and birds were talking, and that means it's fiction. Ah, and then we also have entertain. Do you think that the author was writing this book to entertain us? Yes, very good. I think you're correct. Um, please don't forget to leave your answers in the comments below. And thank you so much for letting me read you this story. I'll talk to you later. Bye.